Hi folks, this is Gabe at Security Baron. And when you are checking out a home security system for your family, you may not want to be a guinea pig. Well, if you go with Vivint, you'd be joining 1.3 million customers throughout the United States and Canada. So could this many people be wrong? Let's find out. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite home security systems, Google Security Baron Best Home Security Systems. If you have a question about today's review, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. In today's review of the Vivint Home Security System, we'll talk about what comes with the package, the installation process, professional monitoring, customer support, and the app. Security Baron review of the Vivint Home Security System starts now. For Vivint, I ordered the basic home security system, which comes with the sky control touch panel, motion sensors, door and window sensors, environmental monitoring like CO2 and smoke detector, a video doorbell, an indoor camera, and a smart lock. So first, we'll talk about your sky control panel. The sky control panel is the centerpiece of the security apparatus that is your home. You'll use the touch screen to control everything in your smart home and security system. You can also use the sky control panel to watch live footage, to watch past footage, and it even comes with two-way audio so you can speak to someone remotely as necessary. The sky control panel comes with the panic button built directly in, so that's useful for alerting people to possible intruders, and you can place it on a wall or directly onto a table. Next, we'll talk about the security sensors. Now, Vivint calls them security sensors, but they're essentially the door and window sensors that you see with other security systems. And these will basically know if a door or window has been opened. Uh, I have them on a few of the windows and all the doors in my apartment. And you'll just know from a push notification sent to your phone that a door or window has been opened. And these are, of course, always in constant connection with the sky control panel. Maybe you and your local locksmith have a great relationship because you forget your keys all the time. Well, with Vivint, you don't have to worry about that because you can get a smart lock. With the smart lock, you can allow others to go in, you can let yourself in using the keypad or the app, and it is honestly miraculous. So forgetful adults, rejoice, because now you have more options with the Vivint smart lock. Nothing says smart home quite like a video doorbell. With Vivint, you get a video doorbell that will alert you to someone's presence even if they don't even ring the bell, thanks to motion detection technology. So you'll be notified on your smartphone or tablet and in the Sky Control touch panel whenever someone comes to the door. So now you can speak and see your visitor um, day or night. Did I mention that there are two infrared LED lights on the video doorbell to make sure that it can capture things at all points of the day? Now, you can store the footage from your doorbell in 30 second clips and those will last up to 45 days. Another unique feature of the video doorbell is person detection. So it's not gonna capture cars or squirrels or you know dogs. It's only gonna pay attention to the humans that come to your door. Though I will say that I'd love it if it did tell me when a dog was at my door. My only concern really is that it has only 720p uh, when it comes to high definition video, but it's made up for the fact that it has 180 degree field of view, so it's definitely capturing anyone walking up to your door. Vivint also comes with an indoor home security camera, and you know we're champions of indoor security cameras here at Security Baron, but before I run it through the Security Baron necessary features, let's talk about its design. Well, it looks a little bit like R2-D2, and you know, I like Star Wars, but it wouldn't be my favorite design for an indoor security camera, but considering that it's not one of the major manufacturers, it's not bad. You've got white with the glossy front, uh, which is pretty much the general and typical aesthetic for security cameras. Uh, it has some flexibility, but what we really wanna know is how well does it work? Now let's talk about the video quality on the Vivint home security camera. You've got 1080p high definition video, which is what we like to see. We're not talking about any grainy 720. We've got the full 1080. On top of that, you've got 155 degree field of view, which really allows us to capture what's taking place in a room. You know, we typically wanna see at the very least 120, 130, and they come through with the 155. Now, 
We're kind of upset with the fact that the zoom is a little bit lacking, but you do get some zooming features and you can do that within the app. So that's the video quality on the indoor camera by Vivint. Something we always wanna see at Security Baron with our indoor cameras is two-way audio. And the Vivint indoor security camera comes equipped. You've got two-way audio allowing you to talk to any possible intruders or just your children, your dog, and they can talk back. So it's a very useful feature and something you'll find on the Vivint indoor security camera. Well, unless you live in parts of Alaska, you're not gonna have daylight 24 seven. And so that's why night vision is so important for us here at Security Baron. And the night vision on the Vivint indoor security camera is pretty good with its three infrared LED lights. We're definitely, we're very pleasantly surprised with how well we could see in the dark. At Security Baron, we attach a lot of significance to both local and cloud storage for your indoor security camera. And with Vivint, you get the local storage on devices within the Vivint security system, if not directly in the camera itself. And you get 14 days of cloud storage, which can be upgraded to 30 full days of cloud storage. So we are on board with the storage options for the Vivint home indoor security camera. At Security Baron, we love smart platform integration and the indoor security camera by Vivint integrates well with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. So you don't have to worry about it working with your Nest because it's already ready to go or working with your Alexa Echo because it's set for that as well. So when it comes to smart platform integration on the Vivint home indoor security camera, we give it full marks. Now, when it comes to artificial intelligence, another one of the Security Baron's necessary features for home indoor security cameras, the Vivint home indoor security camera has nothing doing. There is no artificial intelligence, so it can't distinguish between pets or people. That has to be done manually by entering the height and the motion sensitivity. Now, Vivint does not just protect you from intruders. It can also detect what's going on in the air around you. So you can order CO2 and smoke monitors uh, that will work seamlessly with the system. Whoa, hold on, let's take a quick break. Every month at Security Brand, we like to hook our subscribers and commenters up with a little something something. So you can be entered to win a $200 Amazon gift card just by subscribing to our page and leaving a comment. So rules are simple, subscribe to our page, uh, leave a comment, and each month that you do that, you'll be entered to win this $200 Amazon gift card. Let's get back to the video. This is the part where I talk about what the process was like installing it, how convenient it was for me to set up, or how easy it has been to maintain. But honestly, Vivint doesn't allow any do-it-yourself in this process. So I just wanna talk about the experience I had with Vivint and their professional installation. When you first have your phone call ordering the system from Vivint, uh, they will go ahead and schedule your guy to come in and set it up because you don't have any of the products on you. Uh, they come with everything. So there's no shipping, nothing like that, but he was very professional. He came in, he had his booties on so he wouldn't track anything into my home and he set up everything, um, putting the sky control touch panel directly into the wall. He went to the corner of my living room and set up the motion detector. Then he went to each of my windows and set the security sensors up. So when anyone opens that window, I know at this point. On top of that, he went to my door and set up each security sensor. Then he went on to set up my video camera so I can capture anything taking place. He also went ahead to set up my video doorbell and smart lock. So the smart lock went on the outside of the door, the video doorbell went to my front porch, and it was a very thorough process. Now, the good part of that is that you know that every piece works before the technician leaves your home. So those are my thoughts on the Vivint installation process and how convenient it is to set up. You just have to basically make sure you're at the house. So let's talk about the professional monitoring of the Vivint home security system. And to begin, let's just talk about what professional monitoring is when it comes to this home security system. And that means 24 seven live monitoring. You've got a team of experts at your disposal to make sure that your home is protected. In the case of any event, you will know about it and the proper authorities can be dispatched to your home. 
Now, on top of that, with Vivint, you're getting cellular connection um, as a backup to every element of this system. So, you know, a lot of things are happening these days when it comes to natural disasters or someone can cut your power lines or your phone lines, but you don't have to worry because Vivint has a cellular connection uh, to make sure that that call goes through. So let's jump into the options for professional monitoring when you buy a Vivint home security system. Vivint offers three packages for its monthly subscription plan and they go for between $29.99 and $49.99. Uh, that would be the smart security service, the smart home service, and the smart home video service. Honestly, if you'd like a detailed analysis of each of these packages, we suggest you go to securitybaron.com and check out our graphics that we've created there to help you better understand the different packages offered by Vivint. So let's talk about the contract rules with Vivint because they are important. Now, Vivint offers a 60 month and a 42 month package, and that means five years or three and a half years for all you humanities majors out there. You're going to wanna be very careful when looking at the contract terms for your Vivint home security system. For example, if they come and install the system in your home, you may only have three days of right of rescission to basically cancel that contract. So be very careful when looking at your contract to see what your options are when it comes to cancellation and installation. So now that we've discussed the contract rules, we wanna discuss customer support. And we definitely know that these are very related concepts because understanding these contract rules honestly will take you having a conversation with customer support. So there are a few different ways to get in touch with Vivint. You can chat with a representative online, you can call them, or you can dig through their vast trove of information on frequently asked questions. My first interaction with Vivint and customer service was pretty positive. Um, I knew exactly what I wanted when I called them, Yet, you know, it still took me about 20 minutes to get the system ordered and set up my first uh, installation meeting. Later, however, I called back to have various conversations related to just trying to understand my products better. And I did find that some of the people on the phone were unknowledgeable and almost evasive. And so that's never what you wanna have uh, in a phone call with customer support. Now, that was my experience. What did other people think of Vivint support? Vivint has a 3.8 rating on Google, which I say is about uh, B minus. A lot of those reviews when speaking about customer service said that they were hard to get a hold of and it was difficult to get answers, which basically matches my experience. Unfortunately, Vivint did not fare well on the Better Business Bureau's uh, review. They actually received a B from the Bureau themselves. And I would like to note that there were over 4,500 complaints in the Better Business Bureau. I think that Vivint is trying to take the steps um, to do better by their customers um, because they want to and also because to some extent they have to. So now that we've discussed a little bit about the customer reviews of Vivint, let's look at how they think about the apps. So the Vivint smart home mobile application in the Apple store received 4.5 out of five stars with almost 10,000 reviews. And most of those were perfect five stars. So that was pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, but it's even stronger in the Google Play Store with 43,000 reviews with an average of 4.6 out of five stars. That is simply phenomenal and one of the best we've ever seen for a home security smart system mobile application. Vivint is really knocking it out of the park. Now we have an idea of how the Vivint mobile application functions for other people. Let's look at it right here at Security Baron. Now I'm in the Vivint home security app. And if you know, at the top of the screen, it already says living room window one is open. Uh, the reason it's open is because my apartment is very hot and for it to not feel like a furnace, I generally keep that open whenever my landlord has forgotten to turn off the nest that he has in his apartment that controls everyone who lives in this building. Now, if you look in the middle of the screen, it says disarmed. Now, if I hold this, I can hit leaving and it will say that the living room window is open, but I can still arm it anyway but let me hit cancel on that. I can also hit it the other direction and it'll arm it as if I'm actually in the apartment and let's hit cancel on that as well. 
Now below that, you'll see it says front door locked and front door locked allows me just to touch that button and lock my quick set smart lock that I got in the Vivint home security package. While security is the most crucial part of any home security system and app, it's really fun and also useful to look at the cameras. Now, if I go into cameras, there are a couple of options. I can look at my living room, speak to it on the microphone by typing the microphone button. Microphone button, microphone button. I can take a snapshot and I can pinch and zoom. So if you note here, I'm looking at the water bottle that I use to moisten this bird of paradise that I have over here on the right side of my apartment that I'm very afraid for. If I go out, I can go to the doorbell, which has a very wide view, see a lot of what's happening. Once again, I can speak through the microphone in the middle or take a snapshot and also pinch and zoom. Now, if I hit the settings button, I can change the name of the doorbell, record a visitor coming or record a visitor upon pressing the doorbell, just depending on how much privacy you wanna give your neighbors and Amazon delivery guy. These are the various options. Of course, I can click events and it'll tell me whenever a visitor was detected. Now, if I jump out of all of this, on the bottom right corner, you've got activity and it basically gives me a breakdown of everything going on. So disarmed, front door locked, living room is open, living room motion detector, detective movement, everything that's taken place today. Now, if I go click on the left hand side, there's a settings. You've got custom actions, which allows you to set up little routines. You also can go look at notifications and decide what notifications you wanna get. You can go look at users. So I can add a user if I wanted to add my brother who lives in the neighborhood, add him. Here we are, now Michael's added. So I live in a small one bedroom, so there's just a smart hub, the front door lock, camera one, doorbell, bedroom window, front door, and two living rooms, windows, and the living room motion detector. But if you live in a larger home, that would be a much more exhaustive list. Finally, your support options, which are really great because you're gonna to wanna to either chat with Vivint, browse by category, look at common questions, or 24 hours, seven days a week, you can give them a call. So those are the various options, and it's a very intuitive and useful app that Vivint has with this home security system. So now we're looking at the touch panel installed by Vivint. Now, Vivint came to my home and they set everything up. They're one of the companies that does not actually allow you to do it yourself. Um, however, I had a very pleasant experience with um, our technician who came through, installed everything, was very patient. He actually wore these little booties on his shoes so as not to track in any mud or dirt into my apartment and I really appreciated it. Now, if you note, from the very beginning, it says living room window one is open. And that is because if you look in the top left-hand corner here, it says November 12, 232, and 51 degrees. Despite that, my landlord, for whatever reason, has the heat up to like 95 degrees, so I had to keep the living room window open so as to not suffocate. If you note, on the other side, it says the front door lock is unlocked. Now, I can change that right here on the right side. You'll note that there are two points. One says disarmed and one says front door lock. Now, if I want to lock the front door, you know, I, I have a friend coming over now, so I'm keeping it unlocked. He has a, he has a key and we go like this. And now we've locked the front door. Now, if I want to unlock the front door, I just take it back and we're unlocked. Now, if I hit disarmed, you have a few different options. On the right side, you can go this way to arm your home that you're away. And because I have a few things open, it actually won't let me arm uh, unless I hit arm anyway, but I don't wanna do that. So I hit cancel or I can go to stay, which you get the same thing. So this screen is essentially where you do all of your arming functions. Now, arming is of course the crucial element of having a security system, but we also like cams. So if you see on the bottom, there is a little video camera, click on that. And now you're looking at my living room and the view from my Vivint doorbell. Now, camera one, I can click here. And this is a live view of my living room. Now this is the doorbell view and you can see everything going on cars passing by and if someone were to 
approach the home right now, you'd be able to say hello with the Vivint doorbell. Now, there's a little cross, you click on that, and those gives you options for if you are in danger. So you've got the panic button, the blue one on the left, the emergency button on the right, and the fire button. So all dispatch different types of aid um, directly to your home. Now, as typical, the bottom right, three dots are your settings. You've got your general support page. There are different options here. If you wanna switch your temperature to units, say you did not grow up in the United States or the two other countries that actually use Fahrenheit or switch to your 24 hours. Then we can go into security, look at your various sensors, do a system test. Go into devices and check out the devices that I have linked up to the system. Now, if I wanted to add a new device, I could add my Amazon Echo, which is you know something that we're very familiar with using Amazon Alexa and the smart platform integration elements of Vivint are also really spot on. So this is the touch panel on the Vivint home security system installed by a technician. And honestly, it's one of the sleekest systems that we've seen. The touch panel is beautiful. Um, it works really easily. They were very thorough in explaining to us step-by-step step how it would work. It was a very painless process. So now I'm looking at the video on the Vivint Home Indoor Security Camera. Now, you'll note that it's pretty great. It's got 1080p high definition video. On top of that, it's got 155 degree horizontal field of view and an 80 degree field of view vertically. So you're really able to capture a lot on this camera and it looks great. Now, granted, everything in my apartment is very close, so that facilitates what it looks like but definitely when it comes to home security cameras um, that are made not by a third party, but directly from the home security system, uh, this is one of the top cameras that we've seen. So here we are checking out the night vision on the indoor camera by Vivint. And there are three infrared LEDs and they work really well. Now we had to move to a different room because New York has a lot of light pollution, but this room is pitch black and we're really able to capture a lot of what's happening directly through the Vivint indoor camera. So this is the view, this is me, I'm moving around and it's capturing everything in that 1080p high definition video and we're actually pretty impressed with the night vision on the Vivint home indoor security camera. So here I am on my stoop looking at the Vivint doorbell or rather the Vivint doorbell is looking at me. Now with this you get 720, 180 degree field of view and two infrared LEDs so that I can capture everything at night. So we're actually pretty big fans of the Vivint doorbell and its capacity for video quality. Vivint clearly brings a lot to the table, but let's talk a little bit about how much it costs to sit at that table. Well, everything that we covered in today's review costs us about $700. But remember, when it comes to security systems, everything to some extent is negotiable. So I didn't know negotiation, I didn't know credit check, and this is what I got. Ultimately, what we're trying to figure out today is whether or not Vivint is right for you. Now, do you need someone to hold your hand and guide you to the light? Well, the customer support at Vivint may not provide that. And on top of that, you may have to sign a long, uh, somewhat onerous contract. However, if you're looking for free cellular connection, a reliable system, and a phenomenal app, then you're gonna wanna give Vivint a shot. So that's our review of the Vivint home security system. If you appreciated this video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe with Security Fan. Be secure.